else to see. But a real possibility riders say they know is always present. You do have to leave with, you know, your own sense of mortality every time you leave the house and put on that helmet and get on that bike. Kevin Holmquist works with motorcycles. He tells me the number of crashes this month, unfortunately, doesn't surprise him. I've been to funerals for enough of my own customers. Holmquist's stories aren't unique for riders, and you don't have to go far to find that. That made me seriously consider stopping. Jesse Curl says he got his first motorcycle at 16. He tells me nothing really fazed him, not even his own falls, until he watched as someone he rode with got permanently injured in a crash. You can be seriously injured or killed on a motorcycle pretty easily. The Department of Licensing says riding a motorcycle increases your risks on the road. They say you can manage those risks by riding responsibly. Everything feels like a close call on a motorcycle. Both Holmquist and Curl say they've been lucky. They say the best way to stay safe is be aware of everything. If something happens, you're going to be the one that gets hurt. So it's being that responsible person, obeying the rules of the road, not treating it like a racetrack. You have to really pay attention. You have to watch what everyone around you is doing. You just have to be aware. Reporting in Seattle, AJ Janivel, Q13 News. And the State Department.